Shrimati Minakshi Lekhi Ji, I request Madam for your blessings on this occasion. Thank you very much, uh, our Honorable Arjun Munda Ji. Uh, we will be uh, shortly joined by our uh, Minister of Ayush, Sri Sarvanand Sonowal Ji, uh, my colleague and friend, uh, Mahindra Bhai, uh, Dr. Dr. Vaidya Rajesh Kotecha Ji, uh, our friend here, Tanuja Ji, Ramod Ji, Anil Ji, uh, all my friends, uh, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I feel it's an honor and privilege when I discuss all that is good in my country. And all that is good in my country, especially when we are celebrating Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav, 75 years of India's independence. The science and technology which world has today has huge imprints of Indian science. It's unfortunate that we never blew our own trumpet. We kept sharing knowledge and science across. But it's time that we start putting ourselves forward, not for gloating over the achievements, but to continue to maintain the scientific temperament which our ancestors possessed. And in this regard, I can say a science of Ayurveda, which is nothing less than 5,000 plus year old, or maybe more actually, 10,000, 8,000, we don't know. That science is being celebrated in modern India, and this is only the seventh Ayurveda day. So this is a travesty to the science itself, because a science which we all live with, we need to propagate in a modern fashion, because while it's being practiced in our kitchens and in our homes, we do not give it enough recognition. And I must say that Prime Minister Modi ji was one person who brought this forward. And not because when he became the Prime Minister, he started doing this. No, no, no. Many, many years ago, his faith in yoga and Ayurveda is something we all know of. And he's never shied away from talking about it. And talking about it because of his own belief and because of his own practices that he engages in, that he has this particular faith and thus giving recognition to science is, was important. We all know what happened during COVID. We know how world suffered. We know that the traditional medicine is medicine. It is science. It is observation of millions of years by our sages and rishis and it's no voodoo which it has been made out to be in by some pharmaceutical uh, lobbies. So under these circumstances, it was very important that COVID brought us back to the roots and those roots need to be recognized and celebrated. In our value system, we repeatedly say that there is not a leaf which does not have a cure. The user has to know how to use that leaf. So the plants and the trees which are all around us, available naturally, we need to gain that knowledge how and where the best way to utilize it. UN talks about sustainable development goals, so on and so forth. But when you look at sustainability, can pharma industry, which can have polluting impacts and so on and so forth, polluting our own bodies also because there are so many side effects, uh, be the reason alone to deal with day-to-day -day problems? Answer is, as one of the videos said, that first way of dealing with simple things like cures for cough, cold, fever, day-to-day -day problems because whenever your immunity is low, we all end up getting the viruses and bacteria which are all around us. They are also living beings. They also find a host, so they start 
hosting on the host. And that could prevent those kinds of problems which are easily uh, manageable through home remedies. Uh, it could be garlic, it could be ginger, it could be honey, it could be cumin, it could be a change in the uh, uh, lifestyle, it could be food that we eat. Those can be managed by home remedies and thus Ayurveda in my kitchen, I would say my grandmother, my great, 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 great grandmother and her great, great, great grandmother, we've all been practicing this. We've all been practicing the science in the kitchen and Indian kitchens are nothing but science labs. But unfortunately, this science lab was reduced to cuisine. This science lab was only a food, a tasty food, nothing beyond. Whereas this was a science lab which worked on that, okay, you've got loose stomach, eat khichdi with less oil and have curd with it, which actually gives bacillus in your stomach to deal with the problem you have in your tummy. But, you know, when, when a Nobel scholar talks about autophagy and talks about intermittent fasting, that becomes a fad. Whereas in our system, that is something which has happened through the centuries and it's very much part of your own existence. When this particular science, I must talk about the science, it was basically when we talk about Vedic period and we have four Vedas, I think everybody knows about it. So Rigved, Rigved is the oldest way and Rigved itself talks about three cosmic systems and those three cosmic systems are three energy forms and any imbalance in them can lead to psychosomatic and psychophysiological problems and those three systems could be Vat, Pit and Kav. So this comes from the three energy, cosmic energies and thus most religions, most uh, civilization recognize Trinity in some form or the other. May call it by different names but Trinity concept exists and that comes from the cosmic energy system. You talked about Samway. I learned recently some people in the Western universities are today talking about music therapy for people who are really sick, mentally uh, uh, stressed and serious patients of cancer and so on and so forth. Music therapy is being talked about today, but Samway talks about it a few thousand years ago. Yajurway. <laughs> Yajurved talks about herbs, talks about rituals, also talks about organs and tissues, which we call dhatus. And imagine, this is something which we started doing in, in you know, modern times now, and we give recognition to various people now on, but this is something which has been discussed a few thousand years ago. The main science, the Dhanvantri day today comes from Atharved and Atharved <laughs> talks about herbs, they use this, 114 diseases and their cure and in turn it has three Upavedas and those three Upavedas discuss various kinds of problems including Sushrut Samhita, Sharak Samhita and Ashtang Khidyam. Now Sushrut if I may say he was one sage and which of course we related to religion but I also take credit that our religion was scientific because whole lot of religious aspect and whole lot of knowledge got lost due to many reasons. I will not dwell on to that. The fact is our knowledge system got lost and as part of that knowledge system which got lost we ended up practicing without knowing and without discussing. Every house, if I may say, possesses a tulsi plant. Every mother knows that in the morning you put the tulsi leaf in your mouth but under the tongue and not chew it with your teeth. 
we all do it and we call it you know it's a sin to chew the leaf but the science of it is that it has high fluoride content which can harm the teeth but it has very many antioxidant properties which will help you so the best way to consume tulsi leaf is without chewing it put it under the tongue now science may be discovering it today but our families our women our households have known it through and through so this was science so we are celebrating science today we are recognizing it is always there we doing nothing new we are recognizing the knowledge system which this country has given to the world and why i say to the world because two names two names which is i can't find the name yeah so two names of two translators i must put this on record so indian science the vedic knowledge the knowledge about ayurveda the system of wellness went to the arab world and it got translated by two people abhi sena and raji semi prion let semi priona now these were the people who were practicing like we call it ved our ved they were practicing the same medicine by translation into arabic so the sanskrit knowledge got translated into arabic and through arabic it reached the middle east and from there it reached to the western part and western society started using it only as late as 1600s parcelius parcelius was the one who started practicing uh, the knowledge which came through this route and it was brought back to us in many other forms so science which has been practiced in this country for few thousand years ago traveled many routes and it gets to be used because we never patented it we never followed the regime as recognized we thought knowledge is for sharing knowledge is for everyone and when we say vasudev kutumbakam the world is one big family the knowledge of goodness and wellness is to be shared by all because everybody's health is important everybody needs to feel good that is india we are dealing with these are and as i say that all that is good in my country needs to be celebrated and this is one such thing and ayurveda day Dhanvantri Divas is one day which celebrates the science of this country, and thus it can be, it has to be celebrated. The Upavedas also talk about several other Vedas. We have Gandharva Ved, we have Sapatya Ved, we have had Dhanur Ved. Now each of these Upavedas will also talk about acupressure, Vastu, and uh, music, sound. Uh, harmony and how we can balance all the roles we all know that when one is very depressed we all know which songs to play which will cheer us up each one of us knows each one of us knows when we are very agitated the child the baby is crying probably there is something in the tummy and cannot express itself we know which chants are going to help that baby calm down so the value of science the value of music the value of nada swaram we all understand it been practiced it without actually getting into the scientific details i'm very happy that government of india through the ministry of ayush our friend here doc with mrs sarvana sonavar ji has chosen to celebrate this at this scale so that the value of science which is our strength gets to be practiced by all and when i say ayush ayush in today's science in today's method will be ayurved yunani siddha yoga and homeopathy all these combined together will form ayush and ayurved by itself ayu is the age 
and where is the knowledge. So science of well-being, the science of increasing and living and life and enhancing your age is Ayurveda without much side effects. So I think we all need to work together, popularize it, work together, work for harmony and peace. And I must quote that we started, of course, I have, we have aims, um, Ayurveda aims in my course, in, in, in Delhi, uh, not part of my constituency, but definitely in Delhi, the city I belong to. And uh, uh, I'm happy that WHO has chosen to work with uh, AIMS because this knowledge of wellness and well-being is India's repository which can benefit the world. The way Yoga Day is celebrated, I wish one day we celebrate the Ayurveda Day. And since we have Arjun Mundaji, how tribals used the science, how tribals protected the environment, how tribals continue to supply the medication which is needed from mountains to rivers to other places. I think it's a combination which has to be celebrated. At the end, I must say, I must quote the Prime Minister. Mr. Modi said that from the plants to your plate, from matters of physical strength to mental well-being, the impact and influence of Ayurveda and traditional medicine is immense. I think this concludes the day for me because these words definitely describe what we are celebrating, what today's celebration is all about. It's a message to the humanity, it's a message to mankind that let us go back to our roots and celebrate all that is good in our systems. And Rishi Dhanvantri being one, God of wellness being one, and science and knowledge from Indian systems being the other, which has given so much to the world, I think it's time to blow the trumpet so that people do not desert away and do not start calling science as voodoo for these things, uh, for these words. Thank you very, very much for having listened to me. Uh, may God bless us all with good health, uh, wellness and happiness. A very, very happy Diwali to everyone. Jai Hind, Jai Bhai. Thank you very much, ma'am. Definitely, uh, we are overwhelmed by your deep insight of Ayurveda principles. With the support of 22 ministries and many more, definitely 2047 will not only be the Azadi Ka Amrit Kaal, but also Ayurveda Ka Amrit Kaal.